Hi, hi, Mac, and anyone who might be watching episode 110 of Grandma Day. That's me. Tell stories for Mac, read stories for Mac. Uh, today, I am repping a UCSB. Two reasons. Um, I had two leadership of, um, camps that I taught at, so I love that. This is the school that Jana went to, so every time I'm there, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you went to school here. Plus, it's Christmas time, and it's University of California Santa Barbara. Ah. <laughs> awesome. So I went to the library uh, because one of the books I requested is here. And true story. I know now not to doubt Dr. Seuss. It's the Sneetches and other stories, plural, which means there's more than one additional one. Facts. So here's Sneetches by Dr. Seuss. Kids love this one. You ready? The Sneetches, let's see if I can move back so you can see it. Um, I don't know if I can read it on here. Now, nope, I can't, it's weird. Now the star belly Sneetches had belly with stars. The plain belly Sneetches had none upon stars. Those stars weren't so big, they were really so small. You might su think such a thing wouldn't matter at all. There they are, look it. There's his little star on his belly, like a belly button. Well, look how sad this one is because they don't have a star. But because they had stars, all the star belly sneeches would brag, we're the best kind of sneech on the beaches. With their snoots in the air, they would sniff and they'd snort. We'll have nothing to do with the plain belly sort. And whenever they met some, when they were out walking, they'd hike right on past them without even talking. Wow, that's not good. When the star belly children went out to play ball, could a plain belly get in the game? Not at all. You could only play if your bellies had stars and the plain belly children had none upon theirs. Look at them all enjoying it, but the plain belly, nothing. When the star belly sneeches had frankfurter roasts or picnics or parties or marshmallow toast, they never invited the plain belly sneeches. They left them out cold in the dark of the beaches. They kept them away, never let them come near. And that's how they treated them year after year. Oh no, that's so sad. I hate that. I like everyone to be together all the time. Then one day, it seems, while the plain belly sneeches were moping and doping alone on the beaches, just sitting there wishing their bellies had stars, a stranger zipped up in the strangest of cars. My friends, he announced in a voice clear and keen, my name is Sylvester McMonkey McBean. I've heard of your troubles. I've heard you're unhappy, but I can fix that. I'm the fix it up chappy. I've come here to help you. I have what you need. And my prices are low and I work at great speed. My work is 100% guaranteed. <laughs> oh, okay, you got my attention, Sylvester McMonkey McBean. Then quickly, Sylvester McMonkey McBean put together a very peculiar machine and he said, You want stars like a star belly sneech? My friends, you can have them for $3 each. <gasps> Just pay me your money and hop right aboard. So they clamored inside and the big machine roared and it clonked and it bonked and it jerked and it burked and it popped, popped them about. But the thing really worked. When the plain belly sneeches popped out, they had stars. They actually did. They had stars upon bars. <gasps> oh my goodness. They're changing how they look so they can fit in. Then they yelled at the ones who had stars at the start. We're exactly like you. You can't tell us apart. We're all just the same now, you, you snooty old smarties. And now we can go to your Frankfurter parties. Good grief, groaned the ones who had stars at the first. We're still the best Nietzsche's. And there, they are the worst. But now, how in the world will we know, they all frowned, of which kind is what? Or the other way round? <gasps> So there's the new Sneetches all happy with the stars and the old ones that had stars are now mad because the new one has stars. What? Then up came McBean with a very sly wink. 
And he said, things are not quite as bad as you think. So you don't know who's who. That's perfectly true. But come with me, friends. Do you know what I'll do? I'll make you again the best niches on beaches. And all it will cost you is $10 eaches. So look at that. He's leveraging people's horrible instincts. Belly stars are no longer in style, said McBean. What you need is a trip through my star off machine. This wondrous contraption will take off your stars so you won't look like sneeches who have them on bars. And that handy machine working very precisely removed all their stars from their tummy quite nicely. That's Then with snoots in the air, they paraded about and they opened their beaks and they let out a shout. We know who is who. Now there isn't a doubt. The best kind of sneeches are sneeches without. What? Just a day ago, you said the opposite. Then of course, those with stars all got frightfully mad. To be wearing a star now was frightfully bad. Then of course, old Sylvester McMonkey McBean invited them into his star off machine then of course from then on as you probably guess things got really got into a horrible mess so this is good that's bad that's bad that's good we don't know we don't know all the rest of the day on those wild screaming beaches the fix it up chappy kept fixing up sneeches on again off again in again out again through the machines, they had raced round and round again, changing their stars every minute or two. They kept paying money. They kept running through until neither the plane nor the star bellies knew whether this one was that one or that one was this one or which one was what one or what one was who. And Sylvester McMonkey McBean was going like this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come again. Thank you, come again, because he knew they would. Look at just a big cycle of stars on, stars off, stars on and stars off. Feel like I'm in Karate Kid. Then when every last cent of their money was spent, the fix it up chappy packed up and he went. He laughed as he drove in his car up the beach. They never will learn. No, you can't teach a sneech. Look at all their money. And now they're all sad. Thank you. Thank you. But McBean was quite wrong. I'm quite happy to say that the Sneeches got really quite smart on that day. The day they decided that Sneeches are Sneeches and no kind of Sneech is the best on the beaches. That day, all the Sneeches forgot about stars and whether they had one or not upon bars. No way. So they started to get along the end. A thank you. I'll see you tomorrow for the next of the stories.